Hello, my lovelies. So this is a pick a deck reading and we will be asking the cards today, how do they feel about me? So that person that's on your mind, the person you're thinking of, we are gonna ask the cards, how does that person feel about you? So what I want you to do, if you need to pause the video, go ahead, um, but take a look at the decks and whichever one you are drawn to, whatever one is pulling you in, um, that will be the deck that you choose. You might feel pulled in two different directions. So there might be um, a bit of uh, multiple messages here for you. This will be deck number one, two, and three. All right, so we will go ahead and get started. Welcome group one. So this is deck number one. Welcome in spirit, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please help us bring a clear and accurate reading for the highest good. One more shuffle. All right, how do they feel about me? So we want to know how do they feel about us? All right, wow. I will pull from the bottom and from the top underneath underneath the deck is the chariot so this is willpower um, holding the reins this means the time is now um, so after a period of pause of no movement um, this is get, kind of getting a different perspective on things um, this you might be um, wondering about someone from your past. Um, this is the Six of Cups. So this is can be someone from your past coming back or this person is from your past. You Maybe you've dated in the past. It can be um, um, in this life or others. So this is a, a very spiritual relationship. And they know that. So this is the you know card. So they actually um, know that you are a soulmate. This is a soulmate card. They know that you are the one. They know that you are a soulmate. Um, when we are hanging in the hangman position, when there is no movement, it's a self-sacrificing thing because um, the energy, it's self-sacrificing energy where we like this person knows that they want to be with you but it it can't happen at this time type of thing possibly so there was no movement at that time um so they are kind of feeling um a bit down they're not realizing that um time might be catching up because the time is now so they're not actually seeing that Things can maybe move now. Things can come together. They're not seeing this cup over here. They're over here going, when will I get my my person? When can, when can I start moving again? So let's see. Let me do the enchanted map. So we'll pull an oracle card about maybe where you guys are on the map. Angels, spirit, ancestors, please help clarify this reading. So maybe this will bring clarity on where you are. So this is spark. Um, 34 breaks down to a seven. So that is a, a spirit number as well. 
Um, and then under the deck, we have ghost lands. So as you can see, it's almost like time has frozen. And Spark was wanting to come out in reverse. So I want to read. I want to look up the 34th card here and find out what that means if it's coming out in reverse. So sometimes your fire gets doused by others who don't want you to be all that you can be. In, the, in that case, you need to move away from the water lest things get too damp. The spark card in reverse position may also indicate that you're allowing yourself to be so consumed by a thought, feeling, or situation that you're in danger of becoming completely burnt out. Compulsion and impulsiveness must be tempered now. Rest by a warm fire. Let things die down a bit. Then you'll see if the true spark will still be there. If not, you can always light another fire at another time. So there is a bit of um, being frozen in time here. Um, I want to clarify the Four of Cups. This can be an energy, it's just like blah, like I don't like how my life is going right now. But in the very center, they know that you're their soulmate. So how they feel about you is they know that you're the one They've balanced their head and their heart. You know, we've got the white horse and the black horse. This is um, totally having the reins and knowing um, you know, there's no doubting it. This is, there is no doubt in this card and there is a self-sacrifice going on at this time. Like time cannot move right now. So don't overthink it because then that might hold things up even more with that energy. Let me get one more card here for advice or to clarify cl more clarity on this Four of Cups. too many. I'm actually being drawn to the Soul's Journey deck over here for possibly where you guys are in the journey to maybe clarify some of this up. angels, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Please clarify where we are in this journey or what will help us bring this together. Woo! Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So as I was saying what we can do to bring this together, um, perseverance. Um, and this is willpower. So a lot of determination, willpower, um, and this is kind of meaning the time is now. If, if you have to wait and hold things. Um, so let me see. I want to know about this now then. I mean, I'm, let me let me look up ghost lands, I guess. That might help clarify combining the cards where at where we are as far as why is there a ghost land here. Okay. 
So ghost lands. You can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. So this is upright. It says in the upright, whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing. Ha, so that's kind of what's going on here. Like you're thinking and wanting it so bad to happen now. And we are still in this hangman position and they're not quite seeing that they can move yet. But, you know, the main question was, how do they feel about you? They know you're, they know it. They know you're their soulmate. <clears throat> um, whenever you set your sights too high, you run the risk of losing your footing. Um, the future has no substance right now. It is place, it is a place that has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there yet. You can take measured steps toward a goal or dream. These steps are important now. The same goes for nostalgia. This is a nostalgia card right here. Um, you can look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons learned. However, you can't live there, nor can you go back or change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. Live fully in the present, the now. The most powerful place to put your attention. Its magic reaches out in every direction. Further, sorry, its magic reaches out in every direction, further than the heart and the soul can see. So, trying to be present, trying to persevere through, and um, trying not to overthink to where you're burning out the spark. With this, we there's healing and patience that are needed. Um, so I will leave you with that. If you were drawn to any of the other decks, there might be a message in there for you as well. So go ahead and check those out. Thank you very much for joining me. Hello, group two. This is deck two. Let's get started. Welcome in angels spirit, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please help bring us a clear reading for the highest good. How does this person feel about us? How do they feel about us? Wow, chariot. And under the deck and over the deck. Wow. Okay. Ooh, and then under the deck, we have the four of wands. This is the marriage card. It is the four pillars, 1111. Um, Beautiful, beautiful energy on there. Um, as you can see, there's actually four pillars going on in here as well. This is the chariot card. Um, it is all about willpower, determination, um, where you have done the work and the healing, you've balanced your head and your heart, and you know what you want. So they know that they want you. You are their divine feminine this is the Empress. They have the wisdom now. They realize it. There's that aha moment. They know that you are their soulmate. Um, this actually could be bigger than a soulmate reading. Um, we have the marriage card. We are seeing 1111 twice. And we have the divine feminine. So this very much could be a twin flame. Um, and that's why this, we would have this. So the seven of swords is, um, not the greatest card. It can be where we are deceiving ourselves, where, um, we are needing to just take what we can to survive in a sense. So I'm going to clarify the seven of swords. Um, let's go here. Spirit, 
guides and angels and ancestors. Please help clarify this reading. One more shuffle. I keep seeing this. There's the, uh, <laughs> there's the emperor. <clears throat> this is divine masculine. So we have divine feminine and divine masculine. Um, this is a huge soulmate reading or a very, very much can be a twin flame reading. Okay. Tell me why the seven of swords is here. So we have the star card. So there is hope. There is faith. Um, there's a star up here as well. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, doesn't have to be, but the star card is their card. Um, under the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is Prosperity Begins. So they have every intention of um, making an offering to you. This can be um, an, you know, an offering of... Um, love it can be an actual proposal we have the marriage card um so did i have this nearby i wanted to i don't think i do so the seven of swords if you can see the reflection the reflection is only showing the baby deer. Um, it can also be mirroring because um, that actually looks like a female, like a fawn. Um, and then we have <clears throat> this massive growth. Um, I actually feel like that's, that's mirroring. This is a twin flame reading. We've got, you know, a feminine and a masculine. So there's a lot of um, where we are overthinking things and where we can actually be our own worst enemy in a situation where you're not sure what's going on. Is this going to come together? Um, we have willpower, determination. The time is now. And we did get hope that came out over the seven with prosperity. Hmm. Let me get the enchanted map to see where you are on your journey. Spirit, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please help clarify this reading. Where is this relationship on its journey? Or please give us clarity on the Seven of Swords. Oh, wow. Look at that. Come together. Wow, that's beautiful. So under the deck, we have this layer. It's frozen. Um, it's in reverse. So maybe the um, things are getting a little um, closer to the time where things can move in together. We're not frozen in time anymore. Let me see what this is going to say. Love needs to be shared. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on the path to discover the nature of this emotion in all its form and expression, romantic, unconditional, 
and spiritual. In each instance, there is another beginning involved, another being involved. Love involves a give and take between you and a significant other, a relative, a friend, an animal, and or spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. They're definitely making an offer. This, this hope card actually looks like an offer. This actually looks like, um, you know, they're bringing you an offer. So there is definitely hope for an offer. I think you're just um, being your own worst enemy here, overthinking. Um, this card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished like a magnet. Again, twin flame. You are attracting love into your life. This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be, this is actually very beautiful. Um, it's going to be something very substantial and long lasting um, and have a lot of stability. We've got, we've got the four pillars here for the four of wands. And then there's also four pillars in the back here. Stars all over the place. Star, star card. Um, they've balanced their head and their heart and you are their divine feminine. So they will be bringing an offer. You guys will be coming together. And it's interesting with this ace, you know, the ace of pentacles, there's, it's almost like two people growing this together. Usually it's just one hand. You guys are going to grow in abundance. Oh my gosh. And then under that card, we have the four of wands again, the foundation and achieve, achievements. This is the four of wands, the marriage card again. Wow. Under that, we have the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Oh my gosh. Um, this is everything you've ever wanted. Oh my goodness. And under that we have the marriage or the um, lover's card. Six in the major arcana. This is the lover's card. Beautiful, huge twin flame reading. Um, yeah, they're determined. And they have the willpower. You guys have been mirroring each other through all of the struggles that you've been through. So have hope because you will come together. All right. Um, if you were drawn to any of the other decks, please check out those readings as well. Congratulations. And I will see you next time. Welcome group three. This is deck three. So we will get started. Welcome in angels, ancestors, spirit, spirit guides. Please help guide us in a clear reading for the highest good. How do they feel about you? Star and the Five of Pentacles. Under the deck, over the deck. All right. And let's see. We have the devil under here. So this might represent a Capricorn or it might be representing breaking free from what has been tying them down, chaining them down, breaking free from addictions or karmic relationships. Okay, so we could be dealing with um, an Aquarius. We have the star card, but they have hope even though they, if they are ghosting you right now, we have the five of um, pentacles. So this is um, when we're not doing a, a money reading, this is um, feeling ghosted or no communication, feeling out in the cold. So they actually, whether you're 
ghosting them or they're ghosting you at this time where there's no communication, no contact. They have hope. They feel like you are their star. Um, they are wanting to send in, or there was. this is when there was communication. There, um, this is the arrows of love. The eight of wands is... Um, fast communication and it's it's the arrows of love like where they're sent telling you how they feel and that has come to an end at this time uh, but they still feel like you are their star and then we have the two of pentacles where maybe they're needing to balance out certain things in their life um, they're trying to juggle too much and so they've needed to kind of shut down that communication um, or maybe they're trying to um, get out of a, a toxic relationship. Maybe they are trying to better themselves for you by um, cleaning up their act, um, getting rid of um, any lower vibration things, you know, if they are breaking free from addictions and, and things like that. So I'm going to clarify... Um, not exactly sure what I'm clarifying here. Maybe the center of the reading. Ancestors, angels, and spirit, please help clarify this reading. We have an offering, the Ace of Cups. Please clarify this reading. Nope. <laughs> That's way too many. If there's more than three, I put them back in. Sorry about that. I'm getting, I'm feeling like I'm. I'm needing to say, um, there's a lot to say. They're, they have a lot to tell you. There's a lot to say. So that might be this. Like they're wanting to communicate or they soon will be because there's a lot to tell you. And um, maybe all of like the big chunk of cards that was wanting to come out too. It's like there's so much to say. Um You are their star. You are their wish to have hope, even if there is no communication at this time. And there we have this again. So when I was splitting the deck, my eye was drawn to check what I was splitting it at. And we have um, an offering being made. Love begins. That is the Ace of Cups. Um, right here we have, there is a movement toward a choice and decision. So this would tell me that they are juggling and they are needing to make a choice. And when they make that choice, um, there will be movement and it will be triumphant. There will be a success with that. But at this time, maybe there is no communication because they are kind of going within, maybe doing a hermit mode. Maybe they, um, that's just kind of what they're being guided to do to help make their decision. I think I'm going to pull an enchanted map card to see where you are on the map with this relationship. They definitely love you. They feel like you are their, their wish come true, their star. Um, they actually feel like um, it is in the stars for you guys to be together. It is um, like a destiny sort of. There's just so much to tell you. 
angels, guides, spirit. Please help us find clarity in this reading. So we have rock bottom, but this is in reverse. So you may have been like, this is, um, you know, a lot of that energy of feeling when you're at rock bottom, you're ghosted. Like, what is going on? Why? I thought this, I thought, I thought this was going somewhere, you know, more than that, even I felt like this was my one, you know, so there's two paths here and we're at the bottom. So there are, I feel like that's where they are at as well. They're, they're not liking um, being without you. They are not liking not having communication. Um, so let me find out here for you what rock bottom is in reverse. Reversed, this card is a symbol for addiction in all forms, subtle or obvious. Doing the same thing over and over again and expect expecting different results will never provide you with what you desire at this moment there is nowhere else to go and you're facing the end of the road if you fear change be willing to change surrender your wants to a higher power ask for truth and allow humility to be your guide force from within you will always get what you need you are only a victim of your perceptions. Take heart because you can you can't stink any further or you can't sink any further. <laughs> the only way to go from here is up and the wondrous things await you. So that's kind of what, you know, we've got this hourglass representing our two of pentacles. That's not a normal thing here. I feel like the person is trying to figure things out and juggle um, so, and you can't go any further down. Something to do with addiction. We did have the devil over here under the deck. Um, so your person might really be struggling right now with an addiction and they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to see the truth of how they are how they live their life. Um, so they cut off communication so you don't see them in that light. It looks like as they are juggling through this um, addiction or tempering off their impurities that there will be a choice made and it will be successful. So that is good news. Um, and they do want to make an offer. They have so much to tell you. There's so much love that they have. Um, but they are just struggling at this time through their um, addictions. <clears throat> um, I want to pull another one for you guys. We have the Soul's Journey deck. Please, angels, spirit, guides, and uh, ancestors, please help. Give us advice on where we are in this journey. they don't feel like they're good enough for you. That's why they cut off communication. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation.
I know that I am never alone. This can feel very lonely. So in regards to how you are feeling, being ghosted, being out in the cold, no communication, feeling alone, um, in regards to that, this is why they are not making the offer at this time because they are truly at rock bottom, going through something. And this is for you to kind of understand that it is not you. Um, it's They didn't pull away because they are not interested. They actually feel like they are not good enough. So just see their side of the situation of um, that's why they pulled away. It's not because they don't think that you aren't their everything because they do. All right, I will leave you with that. Many blessings to you, best wishes in this. Um, if you were pulled, drawn or pulled to any of the other decks, you might wanna check out those as well. They might have other messages there for you. Thank you and I will see you soon.